I'm Jen Capstraw, and today I'm building my very first email design system. Let's get scratching. The email production process can be difficult, and the email marketers I know are wearing a lot of hats and don't always get the lead time they need to do email right. And I get it. I started sending email campaigns 20 years ago, and today I'm an email strategy educator and co-host of the Humans of Email podcast. Now I'm not a designer and I'm not a developer, but I still need to create great email marketing. And today I'm going to build an email design system for the Humans of Email podcast. The design system I'm creating today solves some big challenges. First, it's going to enable consistent branding and rendering across all of our campaigns. And second, it will empower both marketers and non-marketers to build emails with ease. And I'm going to be creating my design system within B Pro, which is a code-free drag and drop email creation tool. I can use any of their 1,500 professionally designed templates or build from scratch without knowing a single line of code. Now you don't have to use B Pro to build your design system, but I like it because I can save all of my design system elements in one place to be reused over and over again by myself or anyone on the Humans of Email podcast team. And it doesn't matter what platform you use to send your email because B Pro is solution agnostic. So you can deliver emails built with B Pro from any email service provider. A good first step in planning your email design system is to identify all of the teams that will be using it and all of the types of campaigns that they'll be sending. Maybe your design system is just for your marketing team or perhaps other departments need great email too, like sales and corporate communications or people operations. You may need a design system that supports a wide range of campaign types, including promotions, product announcements, events, transactional messages, newsletters, that list could go on and on. But our needs are really simple right now at Humans of Email. We have a four person team of podcast hosts and producers, and we only have two basic email campaign types, new episode announcements and other general announcements. Next, let's think about all of the modules or content blocks that we need to accommodate all of those teams and all of those campaign types. This would include headers and footers, hero images, secondary content, tertiary content, and so on. For the Humans of Email podcast, we need two different headers and heroes for our two campaign types, just one universal footer, and some universal secondary content blocks that can be used as needed for any campaign. And now it's time to dig in and start building our design system. If you're a total email design novice, the easiest thing to do is choose one of the professionally designed templates in the B catalog, swap out the images and the colors and the fonts, and start saving any individual rows that you want to repurpose with your design system. I want to do something a little more customized though. Now, as I've mentioned, we currently send an email to announce each new episode of the Humans of Email podcast, and I've started on a layout for those campaigns. I built this entirely with the B Pro drag and drop solution, and as you can see, it's a fully responsive email. It looks good on desktop and on mobile, and I'm going to use this as my starting point for my design system. One of the things I did to save time as I built this was to save my brand's colors to the style section that's within the settings area. But I'm currently using the free version of B Pro, so I haven't unlocked all of the capabilities of the style section. This also means I'm limited to saving two content blocks for my design system, and I have a B logo in the footer of my message that I can't remove unless I upgrade to the Teams version of B Pro, and I'm going to do that right now so I can save unlimited content blocks and remove that logo from the footer. 
By clicking that button, I was instantly added to the free two-week trial of the Teams version of B Pro, And that means I can start saving unlimited rows, which I'm going to use as the content blocks for my design system. All I have to do is click on this little save icon right here. But before I start saving, I'm going to add some instructions to my content blocks. Things like limits on character count and word count and the proper image dimensions. And now I can start saving my content blocks. In addition to giving each content block or row a unique name, I can save them by category as well. Now the default category is my saved rows, but I'm going to create my own categories. I'm going to call one category episodes and those content blocks will exclusively be used for new episode announcements. And all of my other content blocks, I'm going to categorize under global since they can be used for any email campaign we send. And now I'm going to duplicate that content block and change the color and the font size for a content block that would exist a little bit lower in the hierarchy. And then I'm gonna duplicate that one and change those colors. And just one more, one more with a, a colored background. So I've got plenty to choose from. I'll also need a content block for sponsor advertisements, so I'm going to create that as well. First, I'm gonna rearrange the order of my blocks, and now this one for the sponsored banner ad is going to look a little different. And again, I'm including some details about the image dimensions. Now I need a completely different header and hero for my general campaigns. And I'm going to duplicate the message I've been working from, the one that I created for the episode announcements, and I'm gonna make some changes to the header hero. I've got a fun alien graphic for this version. Pretty cute, huh? But I don't love the way that it looks on mobile, so I'm going to add a different image that's only visible in the mobile view. Over here in the panel on the right, I can specify whether an image is turned off or on, on desktop versus mobile. And then by clicking on this little eyeball button here, I can toggle hidden images off and on. I kind of like the way this is shaping up for our general announcements. All of the elements of my design system are now saved and centralized in BPro. And now there are two different ways that I can create emails. First, I can go to one of the messages I created that contains all of the saved content blocks. I'm gonna be certain that this version is exactly right for my next new episode announcement. And then I click exit and then down here on the bottom right, there's a create template link and I'm gonna give it a click. And boom, now a new template has been saved to my library and I can use that whenever I'd like to send a new episode email, I would just delete any of the content blocks that I don't need. Now, my other option is to just start with a blank message and start dragging in all the elements I need from scratch. All of my saved content blocks are available to me over in the right panel. I just need to click on the rows tab and choose the appropriate category. For this first email, I'm going to need my header hero block, then that first module block, which I'll use to give additional details about the podcast episode. We're gonna pull in that universal footer and we're adding a sponsor advertisement in here too and a secondary content block below that. And now I just drop in the appropriate copy and images and links for this email. Now, something I really love about BPro is I can copy paste my text without worrying about random styles carrying over. We've all had that headache, right? B clears out any formatting that might affect your design. I've had so many problems with formatting using default WYSIWYGs in the past, so this is really convenient for me. Okay, now my email is complete and I'm going to send myself a test. I just click exit and then I can see the send test email link on the bottom right. And it looks good. You can even use this feature to send directly to any email rendering tool you may use as well. 
And now that your email is complete, how do you send it? BPro offers a few different options and you can see all of them when you click right here on the export button. It doesn't matter what solution you use to send your email marketing, emails created with BPro can be sent from any email service provider. You can download a zip file containing all of your HTML and images, or you can copy the HTML and then paste it into your ESP, or you can set up an integration with your ESP and your email will be pushed over to your sending platform with just a couple of clicks. And there's even an option here to export a PDF version of your email in case that's something you need for your internal approval process. Building an email design system may seem like a huge overwhelming task, but BPro makes it easy. You don't have to be a designer or a developer to create great email. And saving time on email production frees you up to focus on other priorities. Happy sending, everyone.